My name is Eva Lena and I work with Threads of Hope, which is a small social business in Athens. We are a song business that work with women who have come out of a life of prostitution where they've ended up due to trafficking. Uh, when they come to us, they learn how to sew and then we employed them. It started as a project 10 years ago uh, by an organization who was doing outreach into the red light district. And one thing they came across most of the times when they were out was women who wanted to leave, they would say, well, how am I going to support myself? How will I have an income if I leave the way I live now? And slowly, slowly, I think the organization realized we need to do something about it. So they set up a small project where they were teaching women how to sew and then they helped them how to sell their, th their things. But they quickly discovered that this was difficult because they learned slowly how to sew, so they didn't produce a lot during the month. But also the income they were able to get from that was very little, so it was impossible to survive on that. So two years later, in 2014, they started a social business that is called Threads of Hope, and that's who we are still. Right now we have seven women employed in what we do, and we have two women who are interns, and we have three women at the moment in our training program. And we have found that just this very fact of employing women uh, who come out of that background, you know, when they have not been very used to work before in a regular job, but also carry a lot of the trauma and the difficulties they have experienced because of, of their, form, their previous experience, and which has made it very difficult for them to actually work. But to be in a place where they find that they are accepted, where they are loved, where they are taken care of, that does start to change them. The fact of just getting a job gives them back control in their own lives. They have control over their own money. They can pay the rent in the end of the month. They can feed their children. And that makes a big difference to them. But also when they see, you know, I'm not useless. What they have been told over the years when they've been in, uh, under traffickers control, you know, when they, they have been told they are useless, they can never learn anything, nobody wants them. But to realize that was not true you know, that they actually are worth something. They can learn, they can be good at something. And when they start regaining that self-confidence and their image of themselves is changing. And of course also when dreams return, because that is another thing that is broken when they are under the traffickers. They lose hope because they don't know what's going to happen. They don't know what will be the next thing to do. But to see the dreams and the hopes return into their lives, that's just great.